This is Matrix Lord 212, and I'm wearing my Slimer green polo shirt. I uh, wanted to talk about Ghostbusters one more time, maybe many times. Um, box office numbers, it looks like we're going to, after the next couple of days, it's probably going to reach $225 million. Okay. Now, I was looking at uh, the site called The Numbers, and they showed that Japan had made over $10,303,000 million um, for Ghostbusters and still making money. That was as of a couple of days ago. So we're probably going to have at least two and a half to three million added to the foreign numbers on Wednesday. Well, not Wednesday. I'm sorry, on Sunday. So we'll probably have about two hundred twenty, anywhere between two hundred twenty-seven million and two hundred twenty-eight million on Sunday. That's if the foreign numbers are reported on Sunday. Um, and then I think it's a possibility we'll still have another week of uh, box office numbers from the foreign markets and very little from domestic numbers. So another thing I wanted to talk about is, you know, while I value everyone's opinion, um, what I don't value is anybody putting anybody that liked a new movie down um, for that opinion. Okay, and that is wrong. I mean, many years we didn't have anything to do with Ghostbusters, all right? Now we have a new generation of fans and new movie, and if people don't approve of the movie, fine. But no one should rip anybody apart, bully anybody, or bash anybody's opinion that they like the movie. Okay, so that's wrong. And I've gotten a lot of that on my channel, where people have gone too far to try to belittle other people, me, anybody who liked the movie. And that's wrong. And then they keep quoting um, like they know what they're talking about with the box office. Everybody's a box office expert all of a sudden. Where they're like, oh, it cost $144 million to make, and oh, it cost $100 million to make. Well, the Sony executive said they're making a sequel. So you're going to say that the Sony executive is wrong? Come on. So I'll be very happy if there's a Ghostbusters sequel. And sometimes they do make a decision, regardless of what the numbers are, to make a movie. When Star Trek V bombed at the box office, Paramount Pictures did not want to go out on a sour note. And they threw extra money, and they decided to go with Star Trek The Undiscovered Country, which was Star Trek VI. Um, Chronicles of Riddick was a bomb. They went with Riddick, a sequel. So um, movie companies do make the decision to make a sequel, okay? And it doesn't have any rhyme or reason sometimes, and sometimes it does. So I'm looking forward to a sequel, and I can't wait for them to announce it. So that way, all the people that were hurting and bullying people We'll get it right up there. You know what? Take care, bye for now.